Shalom. I want to start by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Hashem Yahusha. Double honor to the apostles and to the elders of great wisdom. Today is Sunday, the April 9th. Um, <clears throat> uh, and the name of this video is Yahweh Shai's preeminence. And I looked up that word. It's, uh, it's, it means superiority, his supremacy, his greatness, his excellence. And that's what that word means. Um, this is Colossians chapter 1, verse 15. Who is, this is, it's talking about Yahusha, who is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of every creature. So Yahusha was the firstborn. He, Yahweh created him, and Yahweh Shah created everything else. So he was created before all of us. Yahweh Shah actually created us, but Yahweh created him. He was the firstborn. He was the first creature created, the firstborn of all creatures. For him, for by him were all things created that are in heaven and that are in earth, visible and invisible. So the things that you see, everything in this world right now, that you see was created by Yahweh Shah. And the things you don't see, which is the spirit world and all that, that was created by Yahweh Shah also. But you don't see that. Um, whether they be thrones or dominions or principalities or powers, all things were created by him and for him. Um, that's simple, man. This is verse 17. And he is before all things, and by him all things consist. Because he created everything. If you hear that music, please forgive me, you know. Um, it's like you for that music in the background. Um, there you always, it's, okay, okay. Oh, verse 18. And he is the head of the, he is the head of the body, the church, who is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead, that is all thing that in all things he might have the preeminence. Let's go back to that definition. The superiority, the the excellency, the supremacy, the greatness. This is verse 19. Um, for it pleased the Father that in him should all fullness dwell, and having made peace with the blood of his cross. By him to reconcile all things unto himself. By him, I say, whether there be things in earth or things in heaven. And you that were sometime alienated and enemies in your mind by wicked works, yet now hath reconciled. So by, by, because of what Yahweh did for his elect, mainly right now, for, for right now he did for his elect, they, they are accepted back to the Father. You know, through his sacrifice. He was made that sacrifice. He was that, that sacrifice. He was that lamb. That's why they, he's known as the lamb. He sacrificed himself for his, for his elect, his friends. Um, and I'm finna get that. Because he said he laid his down, life down for his friends. This is in the book of John. This is, this is, well, actually, it's right. At, this is John 15 and 13. Greater love hath no man than this, than this, that a man lay his life for his friends. So he called us friends, man. He called his elect his friends. Verse 14. Ye are my friends if ye do whatsoever I command you. What he commanded you to do. Go out there and teach. Go out there and do what he told you to do. Go out on the highways and the byways and... You know, bid whoever will come into the marriage, man. Do whatever he told you, man. He you his friend. Henceforth I call you not servants, but the friend, but for the servant knoweth not what his Lord doeth. But I have called you friends for all things that I have heard of my father I have made known unto you. So he is your friend, man. He is our friend if we do whatever we tell he tells us to do. So I'm jumping back to um Colossians 1 and 22. In the body of his flesh through death to present your ho you holy and an unblameable and unpre un un unreprovable in his sight 
So he did that. He, I'm going to read that again. Verse 22. In the body of his flesh through death to present you holy. To make you holy. His elect. To make you holy. And unblameable. And unremovable. I mean unreprovable. So like, in his sight. Verse 23. If ye continue in the faith. Grounded and settled. And be not moved away from the hope of the gospel, which ye have heard, and which we preach to every creature which is under heaven, wherefore of I, Paul, am made a minister. So you, yeah, he said, you know, Paul said, you got to continue. You know, you can't just uh work for a little minute and then stop working. No, you got to continue, man. You got to continue in the faith, man. You got to continue in the gospel. Continue to endure, upload videos, man. And, you know, that's all I had on that. But, you know, it's this is a short video, but it's powerful, man. Because, let me get that scripture. The word of Yahweh is quick. Um, Hebrews, I think, 12. If I'm not mistaken, I believe it's 12. Oh, okay, it's, it's just Hebrews 4 and 12. For the word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit, and of the joints and marrow, and in a, is a discerner of the thoughts and int intents of the heart. So that right there shows you, you know, that the word of Yahweh is quick, and you know it's strong, man. Even though this is a short lesson, it's powerful. So with that, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah. Double honor to the apostles and to the elders of Great Millstone. And I would like to say shalom to the elect, death to America. Uh, and we almost out of here, man. World War III is ramping up. Martial law is on the way. The RFID chip is made known. It's here. So, you know, keep the you know keep the faith. We almost out of here. Shalom. And I would like to say, call Allah, Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh Shah, for putting the spirit on me to do another video. Shalom.